Hi, I'm Nicholas David Nan of the Centre for Conscious Ascension. And today I want to talk to you about freeing up your life with divine healing so you can move into empowerment in your life. Are you ready to heal deeply, completely and easily? Become empowered to achieve your dreams. Reconnect to your true essence and tap into your gifts and qualities and experience more love, joy, fun and abundance in your life as a result so that you can feel a master in your life so you can feel fully alive. Divine Healing is a multi-dimensional healing system whose purpose is to open to grace and which provides a simple, quick and profound, accurate set of healing tools which you can receive from a practitioner or which you can learn yourself so you can use them on yourself and others. It allows for reconnection to spirit at all levels leading to self-empowerment and giving you the keys to enlightenment. So how does this happen? We humans are a flame of consciousness here. It's the pure essence of our soul. And when we embody our ego, it creates this ego onion, a red one in this case. This is all our programs that we're here to work through karmically here on Earth. We're here to peel our onion layer by layer so we can get back to the flame of consciousness. And this, this is this onion which creates all our challenges in life, which we're here to work through. And divine healing allows you to find and peel the layers of onion in the right order so you can get back to the light, back to the love that you truly are. So using a Buddhist model, we're growing lotuses out of the mud of your emotional separation. And often we look at the, the mud as the dark stuff in terms of good and evil polarity consciousness in a Western context. But actually all mud is, is is just emotional separation programs, low frequency energies which are here to be transmuted by consciousness, your consciousness, to feed the lotus and to create amazing things in your life. Ultimately it's all one. So how do we do that? How do we grow lotuses out of mud? And for the other metaphor, how do we peel your ego onion. So there's certain requirements for true healing. Understanding what's going on is just not enough. It's about having a willingness and desire and courage to bring consciousness to the issue, which is the red dot. It could be a feeling of being un abandoned as a child. And bringing consciousness to this, feeling consciousness, not just understanding it. Bringing, when you bring feeling consciousness, when you can feel the core of that abandonment and spread your consciousness throughout the entire issue as much as possible, when you can feel it, what can then happen is that you can then heal it. So what you feel, you can heal, which is the basis for divine healing. So how do we go about doing this? What happens for a lot of us is that um, is not always possible. It's because we've gone and numbed out and buried the issue here. And what happens here is that when we do that, we form this layer of ice, emotional ice. So what you can't feel, you can't heal. And we've learned to control our emotions with our prefrontal cortex. So the, the issue, the, the abandonment is buried, even though we have the willingness here to try and feel it. So we sort of get stuck in life. So how do we break through this? How healing becomes possible? We need to break through this numbness as gently as possible to again, again to feel the issue with our willingness, desire and courage. So when we allow ourselves to feel this, the energy starts to shift. We ask spirit to start to move the energy 
is what happens when we do provide healing. We get a release, something lets go and shifts, and that needs integrating. So the, the issues of our ego onion peel layer by layer. And they come up in the right order, which our soul determines is appropriate for us as we peel our ego onion. So let me talk a little bit about how we are built so we can understand what we're actually doing here. This is us here in this third dimensional reality. This is the impermanent personality. And we're made up of our mental body, which is a linear ego mind, which thinks it knows what's going on. The emotional body, which is filled with all our little issues and big ones, which come from the, um, the soul contract, which is the energies that soul brings in to create our reality. We have our seven energy bodies here, and we have our physical body. And our job is to consciously clean up the emotional body to get awareness of the higher self which is this part of us here. This is the permanent part of us in the higher dimensions. And this scale on the left is the frequency scale. This is the higher ego, the higher consciousness is. And this permanent part of us here is, consists of three components. It consists of the nonlinear mind. It just, just knows things. This is where Mozart downloaded his symphonies when he was seven. This is high self had it all on board already. We have our emotional body, which is our higher, which is what we call the, the Buddhic body, the atomic body, which is our God self. And so what happens is this is connected to us through what's called the Antikarana. This is a, a stream of consciousness and energy flow from the higher self to the lower imper impermanent personality. So as we use divine healing to clean up, lower and permanent self, what happens then is this rises in frequency, you move up the scale, and then this antikarana expands, so the amount of higher consciousness and unconditional love coming through us increases, so we start to feel better. And the more divine healing we do on ourselves, the bigger the antikarana becomes. And the more we peel our ego onion, the clearer we become, the higher frequency we, we become in our consciousness. That floods our personality with unconditional love and life feels even better as we progress on our spiritual journey. And if we continue to doing that, we get to this stage here where we're totally open to unconditional love and we've got pretty much near complete ego dissolution. So this is pure unconditional love coming through our personality and the conscious, our consciousness is open enormously to the higher self. And this is sort of moving towards, or you could call it enlightenment. So the ego is totally dissolved, and we at a personality level are the walking, talking, feeling expression of our soul, of our higher consciousness in each moment. And we just, whatever the soul feels or wishes, desires to go, we just go with it, because we're surrendered totally to it. And this is the goal of divine healing, is to raise your consciousness as much as you're able to, to move as close as possible to this state, so that we return in consciousness to the higher, the higher dimensions, this higher frequency, and life becomes a lot more blissful, flowing. And so the effect of all that work is that we move to what we call following the ego, where the ego believes it's in charge, and it takes us on the path of suffering where it does what it thinks it should do, but actually it's not following the flow of what we call the spiritual signature. That and the spiritual signature is the flow of whatever opens your heart in each moment the most. It's called the path of bliss. And that's required to free up your life to follow the path of spirit, not the ego. So basically what's happening is that we're moving from going with the mind, whatever it feels it wants to do, the little ego here, to opening to the vastness of spirit, to higher consciousness, which then allows us to begin to move towards following the path of bliss to free up your life. And as, as you undertake divine healing, you receive it or as a, as a client or as you do it on yourself as a practitioner, what happens is that you start to converge gradually 
on the flow of the spiritual signature, the one right action each moment. As we do that and converge, life opens up, and this is where the anticlimax is really opening up. When we get to this point here, we really are going with the flow in each moment. And when we go with the flow in each right moment and with each right action by connecting with the vast of our spirit, so it opens up more and more the more we heal, um, we free up our life. Because then we're putting the majority of our energy into doing the things that do matter, rather than putting the majority of our energy into things that don't matter and don't work, which is what happens when we're following the path of the ego, which is the nature of um, the human experience. So essentially what we've done here is that um, we have expanded consciousness by undertaking divine healing. And the overall fact is to follow the path of bliss, converge on the spiritual signature, the flow in the heart of what's right in each moment, and then what happens is that life, life opens up and your life becomes much freer. And everything you need gradually and increasingly comes to you. So what happens um, when we do have these emotional blockages? This is the flow of your life force moving from left to right here. When we have an emotional blockage, which is this little red dot here, what happens then is that the life force is, our life force is blocked because the emotional blockages steal our energy. And they, they steal our energy so to hold the emotional blockages in place and numb them out. And so we have a lot less life force actually flowing to us. So we get low energy, pain, limitation in, in our lives. When we release the emotional blockages through divine healing, by bringing consciousness to them, breaking through the numbness, healing them, we free life force. And what happens is that it breaks through again and we have a lot more energy in life, therefore a lot more freedom. Because that energy is what's used to actually create our reality, to create the good things in our lives. So overall divine healing here is designed to dismantle all of the ego construct that the soul put in place for you to break through, for the lesson, to obtain the lessons from, um, to move forward in your life and your mission of service. And then what happens is that um, it allows you to really unleash yourself in life. So it maximize your potential and live a life of bliss. So what, what happens here is that um, you can receive divine healing either through private sessions. You can go to the website freeupyourlifewithdivinehealing.com to find out more about that. Or if you're interested in learning how to do divine healing as a practitioner, to work on yourself and to work on others, there's a training, which is the divinehealingtraining.com, which you can find out more about that. That's a four-day online training which you can attend. Also it's live in the UK. So I hope that's given you a good feel for divine healing. Thank you for listening.